We have a long schedule because last year we didn't start as well. So our goal this year is to start much better than we did last year and, and establish a good, you know, good first stint in the ACC. Thank you. How do you, how do you, I guess, size up, assess this team after the non-conference slate of the, your guys' schedule? Um, I assess it pretty well. Everybody stepped up a lot with Phil being out, MJ having a bit of injuries, and the guys that were hurt over the summer. Everybody responded really well to adversity, so I'm satisfied being 12 and 1 right now. It seems like every coach that, that, that's up there on that podium has, has got really like glowing things to say about this team. Mm -hmm. What is the, the mindset of this team? What is the, the level of confidence and belief in what you guys can uh, accomplish this year? I mean, we do appreciate the compliments of this team because, you know, our hard work and dedication to practice and film is being shown on the court. So with this team especially, I feel like a lot of guys on the team have a lot to prove. Guys provide a lot of energy when they come in, especially myself off the bench. And everybody understands their role really well, and we're doing it really well throughout the game, especially in tough times. Where we're not scoring the ball well or, or getting stops. Guys are continually engaged into the game on the bench and on the floor. So I think that's why we're being successful so far this season. You mentioned Phil. Just, I mean, he's been back a couple games. How nice was he really to step forward in production from him today? I mean, it's, it was great because Phil was really uh, – he prepared really well, you know, completing all his rehab, getting extra shots up, working out really well. You know, getting accustomed to our way we play right now and our altercations we have with this season, and to see him establish himself really early in the game, it made me really happy to see him go out like that. You talk about this team being battle tested. Oh, okay. Just today, another example of that. Mm -hmm. Getting one nice big test before the start of ACC play. How big has this been first part of the season kind of been for you guys? Oh, it's been great. Um, I really, I really appreciate the coaching staff establishing a good out of conference schedule. Um, they really prepared for ACC, especially the Orlando tournament where we had games like. On sometimes back to back or the day after, similar to the ACC. So I'm really happy right now because I feel like a lot of guys got a lot of game tests, you know, to recognize the ups and downs of a game and how the game is going to be played and called. So I feel like I'm really happy right now with this first half. What did Anthony give you guys today? A lot of energy. Anthony was great. Um, this whole week going into the game or during the break, Ant was great, you know, watching film, asking a lot of questions. And I recognize in shoot round, he was doing really well, communicating. So I kind of anticipated a good start for Anthony, and I was really happy with how he played today. You talk about ACC play. Look at those two of those first three games, or I mean Virginia and Duke. It mm -hmm. was just number one, is now number one. Mm -hmm. How much do you kind of race the measuring stick of the difficulty of early ACC? Play? I mean, we understand that Duke's a good team, but we have to approach every team, you know, respect them as to the utmost respect because they're all ACC teams, going from Duke all the way to Wake Forest, Boston College, or any team in ACC. We have to respect them. And we got to approach it the same way how we all been all season, which is to continue to watch film, prepare well, guys to continue to work on their game and improve on areas they need to improve on, and you know continue from there. Coach Kelsey from uh, Winthrop said that he sees an edge from this team that he hasn't seen in years before. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's different, you think, from this season? I mean, definitely. We continue to grow. On that. I feel like ever since I've been here, we had an edge, a chip on our shoulder. We're not the traditional blue blood, so we have to assert ourselves, especially in the national polls and nationally. So I feel like with this team especially, like a lot of guys understand that like we got to really, uh, you know, impose our will in games, continue to do it throughout the season, and kind of build a resume and just show the, the national, the, uh, the whole nation that we're actually a really good team. We're deep, we're connected, and we can make a big run in the tournament.